the politician them. PNP, Lisa Anna, you can't bat for the system underneath Jamaican banner. Babsy Grange, you sold us out to the beast. You sold out with culture and turn with culture in a brand. And that to no do to Jamaica and make the world a laugh off of Jamaica and a treat we like we mediocre. But me a beg those of us who know and know so we no have to use no violence and we no have to use no chop up and we no have to use no burn down. But we can stand up and make the world know say that Jamaica there is still alive. That Jamaica there is still well and we no want no demon to be with influence we don't want no dopey if be with influencer. We want real living people who know our culture, know where we stand for, know where we believe in, know who we are. If you stand up and make the world know, say, Jamaica not dead. We not dead. Me not dead. We not dead. We are alive. Are we the world? Are we at pan? If you set the world free. This woman here, where does, where they met become the the, 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 vice president, we know why them did make somebody with Jamaican blood inside of them. Look what them are doing with culture, them are turn with culture in a brand, while the true living people where the culture belong to, sit down and a suffer. Tony Rebel come to the front of the class, I have something to say to you. Me notice say so you sit down and make Joe Bogdanovich take Rebel salute and turn it in a some face. A years me sit down in the background and say to you, say, Mr. Rebel, listen when me I say to you, if you not protect Rebel Salute because you are saying no alcohol, no meat, no profanity, they are not going to support you. Is the people have to go stand up with you. So whatever it takes, you have to go make the people them know say is because you not choose to go with them while them fight you. And Mr. Rebel, you know, listen to me. And now you make scatterborrel them turn red, green, and gold in a Saddam and Gomorrah underneath rum and sadamism and that you make a up mr rebel and you need to stand up and come from behind the curtains and come be the soldier for jamaican people unite yourself with buju bantan and berry salmon and the all of the artists them who stand up on the front who can show off with them big crowd them where they can gather who well, not gather them crowd there for who who not gather them crowd there for is it for the benefit of the people and the country that made uno into the giants where uno be that uno afraid for get up so much that uno afraid for come back come stand up with the said people them Jamaica deserve more than this. The real Jamaica deserve more than this. We should not sit on the sideline and allow our beloved Mecca of the world to look like this in front of the world. So make we do the right thing and Jamaica people the ultimate right thing for all of these leaders that I'm talking about to do in music, in politics, is to first of all speak the truth about what the kinder tree really mean, which is the cotton tree down a pakiti, down a trilani, down a flagstaff, where we real ancestors stood with God and told the oppressors after years, many, many years of them trying to conquer us, they had to come to the bushes to say, I surrender to you and I respect you and I pledge to live alongside you peacefully. It wasn't us who went to them. It was them who came to us. So how oh, we are turned this now? One kinder, one Jamaica, one Africa, one world. That is the new republic. That is the change. That is the approach where we need to make to make the world be the better place to advance the whole human race. That is the role where Jamaica is supposed to play. Not this one where them hurrying up to turn us into slaves down here by the food 
Where them are give you things say KFC I feed we because them like we. You think say Jerry and nephew have rump and the ground spread out like wildfire because them love we? No. It's control. It's control. This is not who we are as a people. This is not who we are as a people. This is not who we are as a people. And the maroon community can fix it. With first of all the unity, the ultimate unity in the maroon communities. I am telling the, the maroon that, that, are, that are going with the system to stop. To no, say no. To the George Soros's of the world and the big guns of the world and the big forces of the world. Who no matter who they are, they have to establish out of Jamaica. L.A. Lewis, you need to bring back the stuff that Rastology gave you. It does not belong to you, son. Bring it to the rightful place so that Jamaica can function from the rightful place. The people. It belongs to the people. Jamaica, the land belongs to the people of Jamaica. We are a sovereign country. Big up, Kenya. Thank you for standing up. And from what I'm hearing, truthfully standing up. Not no dark forces infiltration. We have to do something right now. We have to do something right now. We have to do something right now. And the thing to do right now is the right thing. Stand with the creator. Stand with our ancestors. Stand, stand with where the real truth lies. Let your mouth become a sharp sword against the dark forces. Tell these, these dark artists that you don't want them to influence your children anymore. These dark promoters, these dark producers, that you don't want them to produce music for your ears and for your children anymore. Buju Banton, I'm saying this again to you publicly. You are on the wrong side, son. Jesse Royal, father, I'm saying this to you publicly. And you know why I'm saying this to you publicly. Do the right thing. Do the right thing and spread the right news in the maroon communities. Because it's unity we're aiming for in the maroon communities. Not more division. One united maroon community, one united Jamaica, one united Africa, one united world. That's what you all say I should die for. Because I'm saying that Anu, that's what I should die for. That's what I should die for. Anu, that's what I should die for. Or we should be all saying unity, real love, real maroon family unity. I am not going to sit and have you guys spread false rumors around my name in the maroon communities. It's very damning and dangerous. Because love is the only approach that we've been pushing. Love. We say, make we tell Jamaica people the truth and set the world free. And that we say. Make we unite and tell Jamaica people, the world, the truth. And stand together as one united rock. 
and make the youth them in the inner city stop kill off themselves and the relationship them can better so that Miss Kitty don't become a celebrity after half a cussing us out. Cause me giant, the woman them where she a cuss out. And them me a stand with. When me would I tell you if you do Miss Kitty, it stop bad for the system and come bad for Jamaica black people. And stop telling them to go take vaccine and tell them to go have Batman as them role model. That you fit up do. And them thing and stop make them yam false products and, and, and have society does a endorse be things when not good for them. And uno na yam is sitting them where we not tell the people them for yam. Simon Clark, them na yam is sitting them where them have encouraged Jamaica people for yam. But every day you no come and come tell me where fin yam from where no fin yam. I'm tired of you and I don't put my mouth on ground talk anymore moving forward. Me is officially a elder and I have a right to rant. So I know said let those who have ears to hear that me leave all these things and those who must screen record it, screen record it because I want to leave it recorded. So that when the things them shall be playing out, you can get a full understanding. Jesse Royal Father, again, may I tell you this publicly. Do the right thing. Do the right thing. Mr. Gray, do the right thing. And talk the thing right in the Maroon community. And tell the Maroon community, say the right thing. Queen Africa try to do in the Maroon community. If you try unite it. And make the truth talk in the right way. Tell the people them, say that may I do. I know. Tell the people them say that me I try do. Uno stop tell people about me mad. Uno stop tell people say me I try divide maroon. I unite me I try unite maroon so that Jamaica can unite and the world can unite. And the right way to do it is to start the truth. Talk the truth how it go. The truth of Jamaica have a dress. It have an address. It their flag staff. The truth for Jamaica, they are flag staff. No one can dispute it. None of them can dispute it. None of them. All them want to do is come set up kingdom over you know. Everybody just want to come set up kingdom. And we are saying, no more kingdom over Jamaica. Speak the truth and seek it ever. Cast it what he will. He who hides the wrong, he does, does the wrong thing still. I am telling Jamaica, say, we have to stand up as a people and show them, say, the culture where them a bill a give we is not the culture where your ancestor dead and left give ya. And not that the culture there. They must say them a bill a new Jamaica and a force the real Jamaica behind. And I turn it in a brand right in front with face. And I brand it how them want brand it. And the maroon community leader them know. And them a facilitate it. And them, them a walk through. If you never think a lie, you not talk about PNP a better option. Wait till them win. And see, you not go see the new, the real rollout of the new world order. All Andrew Olness I do, I make sure say, him stay in the position, censor him for censor, lock up him for lock up, sure say, him can be the ultimate dictator leader. That's all I go on. We are going to wake up one man and I say, Lord, Lord, how this happened to me, while some communities are, can walk around free. L.A. Lewis, again, Oros. May I tell you, please, please to call me. I've been trying to call this morning. Me not get you. Try call me, please, because we need to tell Jamaica people and the world the truth. And me not going to make you walk around and not tell the people them the truth. And you not threaten me. And me not going to say you, LA, because you say me and your friend. But I've been getting serious death threats. Seeing, I mean, no, say, the wider population of the Maroon community no know. Seen the wider population of the community are the little ones them we are trying to keep the secret for the system going. And them I try to spread the bad mouth. So me I use my platform to tell the world and to tell Jamaica and all of the maroon communities them in the diaspora and all where you find yourself right across the hemisphere, say. Seen and because we once we say it must be done once and for all and we must have unity now. Unity. And until we stand together and show that unity, we will all fall down. 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 So this is why they're barking down my neck. They're barking down my neck in the public. They're barking down my neck in the private. They're barking down my neck. I said, you, you mind what you do. Why me must mind what I do? If me I say, 
Tell the people them the truth so we can unite the truth. There's a way. There's a window. There's a window to do it. Just like how we can't get the people them together to do everything else. We can't get them together to unite. Because we are going to show the first example. You see me? By we are going to unite in our differences amongst ourselves. Forgive each other. That's all. Me I beg the big giant artists them to do. Just forgive one another for the things them we are keeping separated. See? Just forgive one another. Make the people say a united front. We don't know. And say so, no mean it. It's not a facade. You know, really, the way our people did love one together. That is the way our people want to see one together. You understand what I say? What wrong with what wrong with that? What wrong with that? What wrong with pushing for that? What is so wrong with pushing for that? They yeah, them see what I say. So as we are right now, we are in dialogue in the Maroon community, and yes, it up and down and it's shaky and so. But at the end of the day, we hope that we can come united in front of the people and say to the people, say, yeah, this is what the Maroon community is doing in Jamaica to show that we are on board with unity, real, true, pure unity. We are St. Thomas and Portland and anywhere we find ourselves. We can gather upon one, one neutral ground and we can stand and play music together and eat together in a real love. How the hell we feel live upon an island with so much different cultures and celebrate so much different things and we can't find a way how we all do it together? Why we don't want to do it together? Because we are, we are benefit from the division. Because somehow we are benefit from the division. Me link Mark Golden and me say to Mark Golden, say, Mark Golden, please, me I beg you, don't win the next election, but be the change where Jamaica want to see for true, where a politician stand up and side with the people once and for all, not in political affiliations. I know me not hear back from them on that. But everybody, you're going to see all of them election plans are going to roll out and it's going to look like they're all for you because they're going to say all the things that you're going to want to hear them say. But are they going to do them when they get in or are they going to turn Jamaica and America into one and the new world order that will rule the world? Do you think the entire world will go with that or do you think the entire world would prefer to go with all indigenous parties all maroon communities uniting in Jamaica and saying, yes, the truth is, Trelawney Town, Flagstaff Maroons are the flag bearers of the truth, are the flag bearers of freedom, the unconquerable spot in Jamaica. And that is the truth of who we are. And, and when we realize that with one voice as a people, Standing together, every artist saying, We love all Maroon community. Flagstaff Maroon is the head of all Maroon community. And we, and we gather around that as a central understanding of us working out our black history the right and proper way. Kabu, them no want to do that because them are running African. So them want to collect reparations money and run off with. Tell me if me wrong, then no Kabu. Why you block me? Why you not talk to me? Why you not reach out? You see me? Why? Why you not have shunned the truth here? Why you not have shunned the idea here of the conversation? Because everybody want to be rulers and everybody want to lead and everybody want to say, I am the one who is mighty over all. We are the world, man. We are the children. We are the one to make a better way, so let's start giving. Are we? All are we supposed to come together and be better? You know how long me I beg with one and one and two, two, and my artists, them say, make we do one song together now. We are the world song. Me can't get nobody to come together around that. Me I go try again. Me I go make a call to ones and ones. You see me? Maybe I the wrong set of people them me call. So me I go call a different set and we see. You want to tell me, say, if we know a way to make Jamaica unite, we know if we do everything to make that happen. A we if we do everything to make that happen. But no, no one no willing because them busy one side and make them own individual kingdoms. While the people who truly the meek, 
who fi truly inherit the earth suffer and look on and suffer. Me tap big friend now, you know. Me stop, make it look like, you notice, we have control over ourselves, man. And that's why we can't see what go on and can't lend with vice to it the way we do. Because at the end of the day, a true change we want to see for true. We really want to see a country where we don't must agree on everything, but we can't coexist in a manner where can be an example to people looking on though you know what, what is so wrong with that what is so wrong with that if we get the opportunity to shape a future that can benefit all of us not just some what is so wrong with that why should we still continue to have one set of people living on this island fat as a fucking pig while the rest just work to, to keep them fat you show me the fairness in that. When you are a natural, natural habitat of entrepreneurs, people who naturally, naturally know how to survive on them own. And you're trying to tell me that this is not a real place. My country is a real place and real shit did happen here. And we are real, true examples of the world. You see me? So while you, do you all continue to push on the, the garbage from our country and try to shape a narrative about our country that is not real, the ancestors using some of us to set the record straight. And we ain't saying no to our ancestors. And we ain't saying no to the survivors of the truth who you still ignore, who are breathing living people who carry the truth of them ancestors. And are afraid to even say it out aloud because of what might happen to them. And we're saying the time has come for us now to say no more. No more. We really and truly are using our voice fully to say that Jamaica is the head of the world. And it functions out of Trelawney Town, Flagstaff in St. James. And they're using the documents that people are using belong to that community. And when that community can govern itself, Jamaica by, it, it by extension will be able to govern itself as well because it would be in the hands of the rightful owners, the true owners of the land. Yeah, man, it's in a history. The item can go look it up, man, the 1738 treaty ratification and you have people like Basra them where I talk about Granada and some whole other treaty but it's the 1738 treaty is the predominant treaty man so people have to go establish if then did come before 1738 or after 1738 and I did come before 1738 man then come here come see we and we them do the blood what we and we say we no can't get with land and we help with African brothers and sisters after the slave ship them. And bring them up in the mountains amongst yourself and show them real freedom. Jamaica it happen. Nowhere else. And, and, and I said nowhere else. Not, not forgetting the Americas with the native Indians and all the other indigenous of Brazil and indigenous of, of, of Australia. I'm just talking about who set the first example, boy. Yeah. Jamaica set the first example, boy. Yeah. No one can go around it, then can write virgins of the truth, but the truth is what it is. You can't sugarcoat this island, Jamaica, stand per dominant. When it comes to freedom fighting. We stand the closest to God when they come to religious belief. Or let me say belief. Seeing? So we're not normal as a little island. That's why we lead as them wicked to it, so. Because they know the truth on a farm and New Jamaica around it. And all of we were going to plan for resist it, them are plan for kill we and put we in a prison and call it resistance and upset. 
But we not have to do it in a foolish way. We can stand up truthfully in front of God and man and declare to the world say we are living and we are alive and we will not stand with the devil. We will not bow to the devil. We will not sanction the new world order out of Jamaica. We will not do it. We can't do that. The true Christian them were left. The true Rasta them were left. The true Maroon them were left. The true Jamaican them were left. We can't do it. We can't stand together with God and do it. And stop the devil once and for all in our country. Ah, uh, yes, cool, under-educator, stand for God, and uh, fear no evil. Uh, because when the, the blood water, you know, was between the creator, the ancestors, you know, and, and the oppressors, you know. It was a blood water, you know. Seeing, it was a blood water, them did have to come drink out of the calabash, you know, and respect we, you know. Them for respect with Jamaica. Them nothing allowed for do with this. We have to rally round with self. We have to rally round with self. That's why them black eye and eye out. Them black out the ones them will come with the light for sure we wait to be freedom. And we have to stand up and say no more, no more. We're not having it. We're not having it. Boy, I cut them. Boy, I cut them. How we teach the world how to boycott them. So me I said to the maroon them we are hold on to the system. Let go. And make we hold on to the ancestor them we then kill off. Make we hold on to the ancestor them and stand up with the ancestor them and fight with the ancestor them and make them know say one not dead not dash away. <laughs> eh? One not dead, not dash you away, man. So the gist of today is to say to Jesse Royal Father to do the right thing, King Man. And tell the community of the Maroons that Queen Africa is of good intent and his good wishes as a gammon. This is what a gammon should do. Unite the maroon communities in our differences and hug and show true love and, our, and forgiveness. That is why the ancestors never did kill a compound. They send them over to St. Elizabeth. Talk it how it go. So when you go to St. Elizabeth on the 6th of January, you're not celebrating the victory, you're celebrating the defeat. You're celebrating the joining of the forces of darkness against our ancestors. That's what you defend. And we're saying, in order to set our ancestors free, we have to set these events. We have to reset these events to satisfy the will of our ancestors. And there will be no peace until we do that. There will be no peace until we do that. It cannot be done politically. It cannot be done in a, in a, in a, in a divisive tribal, tribal division, religious division. It has to be done in a one kinder, one kinder, one family. All of us having the conversation, uncomfortable as it will be, as it is. But at the end of the day, coming to the consensus, say uh, we are the people who will have to set us free. No one will do it for us. We will have to do it for ourselves. And we have enough people here now who are very great in influence, who are worthy to sit at said table and say, on behalf of our ancestors, no more. Let us do things in the right and proper way and reset our history as everyone else is doing for theirs. 
But all you want to do is send around dead threat. And me fi dead. And, and when, when they not fi let me in a maroon business. And when me are doing it. me by when me are doing it. And me a maroon business. What you mean by when me are doing a maroon business? So, we have to unite you now because a unity will come about and never more war and more strife. A unity. A unity. A unity. And if you set up no shop for the system. So that the system can't, because where the item I go do now, a force with you come talk deliberately where the item I do. And directly where the item I do. And show proof of it. And no can't wipe nothing because they're there for show proof. They're there for show say. A foolish to not go on with behind the seat with black people business. You see me? A foolish to not go on with behind the seat with black people business. And because we are say we are do this thing are responsible. We are say yeah, me no man, make we do the thing the right way. Make we do the thing the right way. We see every generations to come. You see me? So, as we say, we not we na give them no more heads up, you know, we know. But me have to make a report to the item we are tuning in. I make the item know what is happening now. Seeing? We saying what is happening now is we need to start saying it louder that the truth about Jamaica lies in Flagstaff, Trelawney Town, St. James. That is where the truth of Jamaica lies. The freedom of Jamaica rests in the hand of the Akompong Maroon. The freedom of Jamaica rests in the hand of Akompong Maroon. So, Honorable Chief Richard Curry, let us do the right thing on behalf of our ancestors and set the people free once and for all by resetting our way, our terms in front of God and man.